let's recapitulate in slide show what we have learnt today uh, that is heat effect of heat thermal energy that is heat energy the energy that is actually contained in an object due to the motion of its particles you know i have given the example of uh, uh, you people during the recess time how you behave considering that you are particles and you are having high energy then how your your behavior is and when you are having less energy you are stagnated you don't uh, you are not so active that if i consider yourself to be molecule or a particle then your thermal, thermal your energy is less if you are not very active okay so effect of heat effect of uh, uh, heat can result in physical change physical change can be of three types that is change in state that it can be solid liquid or gas change in temperature you know the degree of hotness and coldness is called temperature and one important factor of effect of heat is thermal expansion we will get to know more about it in the coming slides so uh, this is this picture represents the hot tea and the uh, little colder uh, um, lemonade now see the hot tea the molecules the molecules here are closely packed see here the molecules are closely packed and it it, it is vibrating it uh, because it is hot so it has a vibration in it and it is closely when it is cooled down see the arrangement of the particle the they have separated the distance between two particles is more than this okay so so how a thermal expansion uh, thermal energy varies with the temperature if more thermal energy if the temperature is more it has more thermal energy that is heat energy when its temperature is less it has less thermal energy that is heat energy let's understand thermal expansion you already know that uh, uh, thermal expansion is where material expands while being heated causing them to take up more space it means if any object is taking this much of space for example this much of space next if it expands the similar particle may take more space okay now this is how a molecule particles behave when heat is given see the arrangement of this picture and see the arrangement of this picture see here the particle are closely packed when the heat is not given to it when the heat is given it given to it the the same particle the same particles were packed in this area and now see how much space the same number of particle has covered so the space taken by these many particles and the space taken by these very particles can you see the difference so what happens when molecules get more energy imagine what you do when you have more energy when your friend come to you and uh, uh, you are so happy excited then what is your behavior it reflect in your action okay so molecules move more more energy molecules move more what happens when molecules move more molecules spread out just like in previous slide that uh, number uh, the space taken by the same number of particles were not same when it was heated it means more energy it means expansion means spreading out what happens when molecule get less energy very clear now by now you must have understood what does it mean less energy means less energy means less movement if you are not very happy and uh, you are not interested in studies i hope you are enjoying the studies right now but if you are not interested in energy you will 
you know relax you won't take much in interest in the studies while if you are interested in the studies you will take the notes you will try to understand you will uh, if there are a question arising in your mind you want to ask the question so it signifies that you are having more energy but if you are not taking any notes you are not writing anything you are least interested in study then it means you are moving less it means you are having less energy so you do not move much so what happens when molecules move less they get closer less energy means contraction you are contracted in yourself you are not opened up you are not asking questions it means you are within yourself is a uh, types of expansion you know uh, solid uh, the expansion of solid is directly proportional to temperature change the amount of temperature given is directly proportional uh, you will get to understand more about in the higher classes but right now we uh, this uh, uh, diagram shows here the this the same ball is just uh, lying here but here it has come down it means when the heat energy is taken out when the heat energy is taken out it means it has less heat less heat means contraction contraction the same ball the same ring from the same ring the ball is able to pass because it has contracted because of the less energy less heat energy okay this is for example ki how energy how heat when heat is given in and when heat is given out how the uh, this object behave now type of expansion in gas you try to do this experiment you put uh, uh, take one bottle and a small balloon are uh, fix a small balloon in, in it and put the bottle in the hot water just just see the see the movement of the particle here how the movement of the particle is they are arranged you know they are uh, just relaxing there is very less movement liquid in liquid you know that uh, the particles uh, are free to move in comparison to uh, um, gas it is less free to move but it is free to move so now see here the movement of the particle the movement of the particle here look when the heat is given the when the heat is given what happens the particles particles are in rapid movements water expands and air expands and when the air expands it 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 needs more space so more space where where it will get the more space it will get more space in the in this balloon and the balloon flattens up this is one of the practical example of hot uh, gas expand a lot when heated so hot air balloon i wish i could have this joy of riding in this hot air balloon i haven't enjoyed it up till now if anyone uh, of you have done it if we were in the classroom we must have discussed it in a very excited way you know uh, we would have a heated argument heated discussion that how you people enjoyed if any one of you have uh, gone in this air, uh, hot air balloon so phase change what is phase change that is solid liquid or gas gaseous phase after change that may occur when heat is added to or taken out from an object like water can change from solid to liquid or from gas that is very simple one that's the most simple example uh, that you are studying right from the standard 5 so high temperature of water transferred more heat than water at a lower temperature the greater increase in temperature of uh, the object that observe the heat it means that when the heat is observed more its temperature will be increased some material absorb heat more rapidly than others you know just i showed that um, you know
know i haven't shown it yet perhaps so uh, material observed for different uh, material have different uh, capacity of uh, getting uh, uh, hot so when a car is heated by the sun the temperature of the metal door it means metal have some characteristic that it gets heated more that's why uh, we use uh, metal utensils for cooking because it is economical and it cooks better and it uh, it is a good conductor of heat and uh, heat that's why we use uh, metal container uh, metal utensils for cooking so when you see a um when you are in the car it is hot inside why because in the summer time if the car is kept outside in the sun and you are supposed to enter the car without ac how would you feel definitely you won't feel happy and you, uh, you will be highly uncomfortable because the uh the uh, the car is made up of metal and metal absorb lots of ener heat energy and the entire uh, inside interior of the car to gets uh, uh lots of uh, the temperature of uh, temperature inside the car increases so it is not comfortable inside the car so this is the small summary uh, of effect of heat and uh, i hope uh, uh, you have understood and if you are unable to understand uh, if there is anything anything that is not clear to you you may ask question okay thank you